Well, uh, my name is Dylan Lenny. Uh, I grew up in Magog. I'm 23 years old, and uh, I'm a musician. Or we could say that I am a chansonnier. I basically play uh, music, sing in bars, restaurants, weddings, uh, covers, and original music. I also have an album coming out uh, this summer called Wasting Time that uh, has 11 songs on it, and we're in the the final edits of it right now, so by the time you guys listen to this, it's gonna be ready. <laughs> but, uh, let's say I started playing guitar when I was young. I started uh, in elementary school at the age of nine, I believe. Uh, in high school, I started singing in bands. And then when I finally got to CJEP, well, uh, I was working as a waiter in a, a bar that had a lot of singers come in and I kind of just watched them do their thing. And uh, one day I ended up on stage and uh, that's the, the day that my boss fired me and said, now you're singing for me. So <laughs> it was uh, a great day. And from that moment on, I've been uh, singing and meeting a whole bunch of new musicians and uh, been helping people. And they've been helping me to uh, grow my art and to spread it across the country. My favorite moment on stage is a moment in Laval about two and a half, three years ago at the Petite Grenouille where I wasn't supposed to, to be there that night, but there was a booking mistake and we ended up being three musicians for three hours of show instead of two. We basically only had three hours to play and we were three guys. And so the, the owner of the place tells us, okay, Either you guys all play one hour, or you can share three hours and basically play together. So we all knew each other, we were all friends, so we told each other, okay, let's just, uh, let's just jam out together. So we ended up improvising a show, you know, the whole night was completely improvised. And it was at that moment that I realized that sharing music, that sharing music with other musicians was one of the best things ever. We were three guys on stage just playing for fun and I think uh, it was an hour and a half into the show that we all realized that the bar was actually full of people. <laughs> we were so in the zone with the, each other that we, we weren't looking at the time, we weren't looking at who, uh, who was there and it ended up being one of my best nights ever. And for the two other musicians too, who have had great careers, were saying that it was one of their favorite nights because it was so improvised, it was so in the moment. And that's what, that's what was so great about that night. I definitely think it's important to listen to the same type of music that you're producing, but I think it's a very big mistake to only listen to that music specifically because when you just stick to one genre or to one type of music, you limit yourself and there's so much of music out there. Every day there's new stuff coming out, there's new techniques, there's new... everything is new and if you trick, try to stay to the old stuff, you're not going to evolve and by taking stuff from every genre, you're creating new genres, you're creating new music, and that's the ultimate goal, is to write something original, to not copy some somebody else's music. So by listening to everything, it's kind of funny, but when you listen to everything else, that's how you can actually make something different. At the end of the day, my art is made to make people feel good. It's made to, to make people feel like themselves which is why my music definitely isn't for everybody. But the people that it does reach out to and the people who enjoy it, I really want them to feel my music as some, some dude having fun. Some dude that's doing something that he loves and who's sharing it with the world. When I write music, as much as some of the songs, I'm trying to be poetic or I'm trying to get a second meaning or I'm trying to get somebody to read between the lines. There's other songs that are completely plain simple, it is what it is, it's said, and uh, I just want people to listen to them, to feel good, and it's okay to, to, to have your own personality, to like what you like, 
and to not try to follow what everybody else tells you to like or how people think you should enjoy music. Uh, I've had a lot of people who who feel very specific ways with certain music and will tell you, oh no, you can't enjoy that because it's this music is associated to a certain type of people or a certain type of belief. And my belief is there's every single type of genre of music is so different that to just choose one is limiting yourself a lot because the more that you explore music, the more that you'll find some artists in every single genre that can do something that, that hits you in a certain way. And that's what all artists are trying to do. I don't believe that there's a single artist out there that's writing music just for themselves. I believe that music is made to be shared and that's my goal and that's what every artist's goal is. So. Basically, listen to the music that you love and don't be ashamed about it. Some other musicians I think you guys should look out for is the band Coley, who will finally be releasing a third album in the next year or so. And uh, also one of my friends, Julian Bedmar, who I believe should be starting his uh, original career soon. I think the music industry in the upcoming years is going to change a lot. And if I'm being honest, I think it's for the better because I've been hearing more and more raw instruments and less artificial instruments, or let's say a combination of both. But what I'm trying to say by this is I think rock and roll is on its way back. And that is something that really makes me happy because I was raised on rock and roll and more and more electric guitar and guitars are coming back and being more and more popular like uh, new artists are including electric guitar in rap music which I know that's not new but uh, there's also some collaborations with old artists that are coming back like The Killers or Ozzy Osbourne and I'm really excited to hear all how that's gonna merge into new artists, you know, like uh, Lil Nas X or uh, Post Malone have been really bringing back rock and that makes me very happy because I love rock and rock is on my album so it makes me feel like I'm writing something uh, that people can like. My ritual was very simple. Basically, it's to make sure that my instruments are on point, like cleaning up the guitar, tuning up, uh, changing the strings. Uh, it's basically just making sure that everything is on point. And most of the time, it takes a few seconds and then I'm ready to go. For writing, I definitely like to write instead of type. It's, it's different and you can scratch it off kind of has more heart to it. Uh, every artist sees this differently, but I, I've, I've heard it a lot that artists prefer writing on paper because there's more soul into writing. And when you get into interesting parts of the song, you're writing really fast and you're scratching things off and the page gets really messy. And sometimes you, you just have arrows pointing to places and only you're the only person who can understand it. And then after that, you finally retype it all when it's done. And it's a really satisfying moment. So I'd say that my ritual really is to get all my stuff ready. It's kind of, I wish I had something more interesting, like uh, a special song or something, but I don't, and I, that's okay. When I'm feeling unfocused, I try to dive into my music. It's a good time to, uh, to write or to do some songs that I'm very comfortable with that I've played a million times. Music is not only my job, but it's my way to escape life and uh, to be happy. I'm definitely on the guitar all the time and it always feels good to just pick it up and to play something I've, I already know or to learn a new song or sometimes I even like to write, but that can make me more frustrated sometimes. <laughs>
My career is my pastime. It's one of my pastimes. I tend to have a lot of pastimes, like uh, I'm a snowboarder in the winter, I drive motorcycles in the summer, but uh, the thing that I do the most is definitely music. Guitar, singing, drums, violin, ukulele, everything. I try to keep a very positive attitude with everything that happens, and I believe that everything happens for a reason. So uh, I wouldn't, for say, call them mistakes, but uh, I'd say that I, I auditioned for, for a few different shows that I haven't been taken, and uh, for sure that kind of, uh, it, it's not fun when, uh, when you, you get the news that you, you weren't taken. Like, I, I tried out for Star Academy and The Voice uh, a long time ago, and uh, I wasn't taken. But uh, I don't think those were mistakes. I think that it's just, uh, they weren't made for me. Or if they'll take me one day, then it's because I'll be at that point in my life. Or else, um, <laughs> I could say that my biggest failure is uh, the COVID-19 <laughs> pandemic because uh, that's been a, uh, a big hit on uh, every musician's career in the past year. It's been a, a big pause for the music industry and uh, if it hadn't happened, I might be uh, producing my second album by now, but uh, I'm still on the first because of that. Like I said, I don't believe in mistakes, I only believe in, uh, in learning. So, can't call that a mistake. COVID-19 has impacted my artistic life and the artistic life of every single musician in the past year. I'd say, first of all, for shows, because uh, everything has been on pause. Um, for sure, and not, not only has sh have shows been on pause, but uh, production has been on pause because we can't all get into the studio. Uh, and I'd say that uh, everything has been on pause also because you, when everything is down, it's not the best time to write because you're gonna write sad music. And uh, I'm not uh, the biggest fan of sad music, although it's very important to have some. I try to keep one or two songs tops in an album that are sad and the rest happy because that's the kind of vibe that I want to have and I want to share. I can feel that people miss new stuff. I can feel uh, like a yearning for, for new music and uh, people before COVID-19 I feel would listen to the radio a lot and to music that would be produced in the USA or all over the world and big 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 pr productions and now they're kind of looking out for the little guy because they've, they've themselves suffered, their businesses have suffered, their household has suffered and with the loss of income a lot of these people are realizing that we have a lot of talent here and that they need to take care of it. That I find is actually very amazing because uh, last summer when we had a, a glimpse of uh, life returning back to normal when uh, like the restaurants were opened and everybody could be outside so uh, shows were were going well you know I could do shows outside w safely and uh, the response I got from people was like nothing I'd se I had seen before people were lining up to go into restaurants I mean of course uh, less people were allowed inside because of the social distancing, but uh, the people would also line up next to the restaurant just to listen. And uh, for the first time ever, I started leaving my guitar case open because people really wanted to give me tip, which uh, I, I thought was amazing. Uh, that never happened to me before. People always enjoyed my music, which I've been really lucky. People have been wanting to con contribute to my music and really want to survive, you know, and to be still there when uh, the pandemic ends. And that has been a, really a big blessing for me and for many other musicians, which is uh, one of the big reasons why I decided to print my album and not just offer it digitally, because I know now that people really want to, to help you and to, to see you succeed a lot more than before. So I'll be bringing all of these copies, uh, digital copies in, sorry, I'll be bringing all of these physical copies in my show to be able to offer to people and I 
I'm so excited to see the response that I'm going to get. I, I have a very good feeling for, for this summer and uh, I really hope that it's going to go well. My favorite work of art so far is without a doubt my album because it's been a work in progress for over two years now. Even I could say it's been almost in the works for 10 years because uh, I started writing my album in uh, high school. There's two songs on it that I actually wrote when I was, uh, when I was 14 years old, which I find completely hilarious that uh, half of the album is written when I was a kid and the other half is written as me as an adult and uh, you can kind of see the difference between the songs that were written before and I love it. It shows how I've grown as a musician. My biggest goal for my album, first of all, is I'd like to reach a different public. I'd like to, to hit international. Uh, of course, that's a big goal. I'd like to, to see my album not only be with, uh, with the public that, that knows me, because right now, I'm starting to be known around Quebec for my my shows as uh, as a cover artist, but I'd like to be known other places around the world as my own musician. And if I'm able to have one person write to me that's from Australia or from Europe and tell me, "Hey, I bought your album and uh, it really I really enjoyed it and uh, this song made me feel a certain way," then all of the trouble, all of the hours that I put into it, all the money will definitely be worth it if I can reach someone out there that's from somewhere else and that's, that's the ultimate goal. But another goal that I could say is to, to go on tour with it. It's, uh, it's been a, a dream of mine my entire life to, to really have a period of my life, you know, a few months where I'm going place to place and the only show that I'm playing is my original show. That's my ultimate goal. I'm planning on releasing as many albums as I can. Um, right now that the first album is weeks away from coming out, I've already started writing the second one. I've already had, I already have three songs that are written. They are not close to being produced, but uh, I'd like to, to be able to release albums as long as I'm able to write them. There's a lot of different artists that have inspired me. Um, I'd say the first one would be Ed Sheeran because uh, I've seen him live uh, three times and every time I've been completely blown away. What uh, really inspired me is how this guy is able to make his voice and a guitar sound like a full band to make just one person on a stage feel like an orchestra and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to give a one-man show that was uh, just completely full, you know. Just even though I'm just here with my guitar and my voice and uh, I have a little kick pedal for my drum, well, I don't seem like if I'm just one guy playing alone. That's really something that inspired me. And then there's other artists like Coldplay, uh, Justin Timberlake, or uh, even Imagine Dragons that uh, went to get the other part of me that really likes bands. And uh, that went to, to fill in the gaps of everything that I had done on my own. So uh, I went to go see a, a, an artist that's called Jocelyn Blanchette, who's my producer, who basically took everything that I had and just expanded it with uh, his huge talent. So I'd say that he was a big inspiration for me too, as a, a musician and as a friend. The biggest advice I can give to anybody who's starting in the industry right now is to, I mean, it's kind of a cliche, but to believe in yourself because when you're starting out, a lot of people are going to not take you seriously. Even at my, my point right now, I often tell people that I'm releasing an album and because it's not playing on the radio, a lot of people believe that I am just some kid who's playing in his mom's basement. But the biggest advice is believe in yourself before other people do. 
because you are your greatest audience. If you like what you're doing, if you enjoy the music that you're doing, then you're, you're already successful. If you're able to write something that you're proud of, even if you get a thousand views or a hundred views or a million views, if you like it, that's the same. So the biggest advice is really to believe in yourself, to like what you do and to find your voice and to stay true to that voice, not to go to what everybody else wants to hear, to really play what you like and that's how you're going to be successful. The advice I'd like you to ignore, which a lot of people will tell you even though part of it's true, is that there's no money in music. It's definitely hard to make money at first. You have to prove yourself, you have to you have to spend more money than you make in the beginning, but if you're able to get through that area, you're able to you're able to make a living out of it and you're able to to have fun with it. You're able to to do a lot of things. You just have to you have to you have to work hard, you have to have a goal and you have to take yourself seriously. When like I said, when you believe in yourself, when you are your own captain, you are able to do that stuff. Before I leave, I'd like to remind you all to look out for my album. By now it'll be available on all streaming services and you can all go enjoy it. You can find my work on Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, or your favorite streaming platform. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook at Dylan Lenny Music. Same thing for Instagram, Dylan Lenny Music. And you can also find me on, on YouTube at Dylan Lenny Music. I would like to acknowledge the support of the Official Language Minority Community Media Consortium and the Government of Canada for the Community Media Strategic Support Plan. If we're wasting time I'd waste all my time with you And if you're here every night I'll be holding you so tight Making history Cause I don't feel so different next to you Singing every song I know and If we're wasting time I'd waste all my time with you If you need a place to go Then I'll build you a home We'll make memories And we'll spend every Christmas morning by the tree Singing every song we know Time. I'd waste all my time with you If we're wasting time And dance every dance with you We'll make memories Cause I don't feel so different next to you Singing every song I know